guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge. And today, when we go back in time, we're going to be playing Caveman Ninja. It came out by Data East in 1991. And in this game, depending if you're player one or two, you play a guy called Joe or Mac. And basically, all these evil caveman dudes steal your women. And you have to get them back in order to get some caveman love, I guess. I don't know. Um, there's also all sorts of other obstacles and creatures too, like dinosaurs. It's based in the prehistoric era. And uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, if I was to compare this to anything, it kind of re reminds me, it's a bit of a cross between Wonder Boy and Goals and Ghosts. There you go, you play this Caveman Ninja, as I said here, and uh, you've got this hatchet you start with, and also a jump button. The buttons are, are pretty much uh, basic 101 platformer buttons, you know, you just got the two attack and a jump, very simple. Um, you can collect all sorts of goodies as you go along, different weapons, which will make the journey easier or harder depending on what they are then you can get some invincibility items you collect fruit just like in Wonder Boy uh, to replenish your health now while some of the elements in this game are the same as Wonder Boy what I do like is it adds enough features to make it really stand on its own and it doesn't really feel like a copycat because there's a lot more other stuff going on and uh, what I also like about this game as you can see we're fighting like a T-Rex monster here and uh, I like games that kind of get straight to the point sometimes. You would think you'd meet T-Rex at the end of the whole experience, but no, this is like the first level boss. It's epic already. And, um, you know, games don't always have to be a slow build. So, constant action from the beginning. I like this. And I hope, hopefully we win here. I'm gonna cut it close. There we go, T-Rex is dead. And we've rescued this girl here. And, uh... I think she'll go home with me and maybe cook me a nice meal now. That'd be pretty cool. That's it. She's probably gotten kidnapped again five seconds later. Damn, damn rival cavemen. Anyway, another level here. There's some more platforming elements in this level, uh, which is cool. It's really challenging. There's a lot of obstacles you have to avoid. It's not just the cavemen that are throw things at you, but there's other creatures, and there's also, like, natural, I wouldn't call them disasters, but natural things happening in the background with waterfalls and things like that that you also have to avoid. I haven't completely figured it out. I haven't played this game a lot, so, again, we're learning as we go through. Oh, I got hurt by the water there. That's something new, isn't it? Now, there's a section here where I got stuck before. Oh, damn. As you can see, the first level seemed pretty pretty simple in comparison, but it's no nonsense now. Can we get on this bit? Oh, good, we made it. So we're on our last life now at sudden death. These other cavemen keep constantly dropping eggs, and they always have random items in it. Now, this is really, really cool. Because uh, this weapon, straight to the point, it's quick. It kind of reminds you of the javelin and goals and ghosts. And uh, while the hatchet's good for its range and its arc, this, this weapon's kind of quicker and straight to the point. So I actually really enjoy this. I don't know what you'd call it. Some kind of sharp stone. But again, another boss battle already. And we're pretty quick into the game. But uh, I think we've run out of luck this time, though. We've got one little smidgen of health left. And I don't even know what the secret is in defeating this one, so unfortunately we're not going to figure it out, but maybe another time. Guys, this is Caveman Ninja. It's a fun platforming game which shares a little bit of elements from Goals and Ghosts or Ghosts and Goblins and Wonder Boy. So if you like the genre, give it a try. And if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, guys, and we'll see you next time.